So all of this that uh, the people are so excited for clearly is uh, just an appetizer for the main event, which I think might be more interesting than some people think. Oleksandr Usak taking on Daniel Dubois. Dubois suffering the only defeat of his career against Joe Joyce. If you remember him getting battered by that jab, suffering a uh, broken orbital bone. Um, but uh, Usyk, not that big. Not that big of a puncher. Uh, he is uh, far more athletic than Joe Joyce. He is far more polished. His feet are yeah, in every way in the ring, other than just being a, a big guy with fists the size of a toaster. Usyk, better than Joe Joyce. But all that said, Andy, Dubois, for his flaws, is built a little bit more, swings a little bit more like the guys who have troubled Usyk a little bit. Chisora, of all people, gave him arguably his toughest heavyweight fight, wouldn't you say? Um, Probably. Um. AJ did a wee bit better in the rematch, I suppose. But um, the thing with Chisora is he's, he's, he's more durable, I think, than what Dubois is. I mean, we've seen Dubois uh, obviously bail in a fight, obviously broke an orbital bone. We've seen him dropped. I've seen him hurt. Um, okay, he got up off uh, the canvas each time and, 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 and fought back a bit. I, I think back to that Kevin Lorenya fight, um, he was badly buzzed and Lorena's nothing really special when you talk about like say elite talents and, that. and again it just shows you you know a professional fighter oh well and another fight where he got an injury too um yeah a different was, kind was, of injury but an injury it was, it was a Joe Joyce fight was it no he got broken orto, orbital bone and he had the, the knee issue against um Lorena I thought it was ACL, maybe was it, or was it, the it, was, knee? it was his knee? Definitely his knee, because there was there was definitely work going about he needed surgery and that. And then we were kind of surprised that they were going to press ahead with the mandatory when the Fury fight couldn't get made with music. <laughs> so hopefully Dubois is one hundred percent fit. Hopefully the, the knee's good um, because he's certainly going to need it actually because he's going to have to use his legs at, at, at times. Um, to be fair, mate, I. I I'm struggling really to kind of understand what what Dubois is going to bring to what Usyk hasn't seen before. I mean, okay, good straight shots, done, but what happens when Usyk starts dancing around the bottom? You know, he can he, he can leave the chin in the air a wee bit and that as well. And Usyk has, has shown as well that he, he, he can he can dig, um, and just with the fragilities that Dubois has shown in the past, you know, getting dropped off like as I mentioned off Kevin Lorenya, he can get badly marked up. You know, Usyk doesn't doesn't miss much. He doesn't he doesn't come out there winging shots. He's 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 no desperate when he's in, in, in his approach and anything like that. He's measured. Every punch counts. Always takes his time. Methodically looks at things and that, and then he'll just start picking it apart. And I think that's what he do to Dubois. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Dubois maybe even get pulled out of the fight potentially on I don't know swollen eyes, maybe on cuts possibly. Um, but definitely, I can see Dubois tasting the canvas a few times in this fight. Purely because if you see what Lorena did tell me that, I, I think Music could do it as well. Music steps on the gas and does his job how I think he could do it or how he should do it. I think he could take Dubois out of there easy. He's no easy, sorry, but he would take him out of there, probably do it mid half, start of the kind of later half of the fight. Well, it's uh, let's see here. What is the uh, see if they have an over under out on that right now? I'm kind of curious. Matty, while well, you're looking, very interesting comment from Des, respected poster, as we all know. He says Triple D hasn't got a chance, different levels, no fighter with Don and Spencer in the corner beats Usyk. That, he's, he's a very, very wise man, um, and uh, I, I think Joe Kennedy might be considering doing double points on the Prediction League for this, so uh, yeah, be careful you should, you should, you how you actually, swing. Joe, if you're that. listening, mate, Joe, try, do round betting, so do rounds one to You can't do it. Excel Excel spreadsheet shit. Oh, bollocks, man. So, anyways. Well, make, it, make it a special off books one, then. That's what you do. But I agree with Des that as well. I mean, I was trying to say it kind of politely as such, but um, again, the, the Lorena fight did not fill me with any confidence in that as well. You know, coming off, off, off of Joyce, the Joyce fight, he's rebuilt a wee bit, and then to see him getting practically desperation stage, actually, at one point. Um, as I say, I'm kind of surprised as well that the, that the knee hasn't been brought up as such or factored into it. 
maybe, maybe, maybe it was an issue at all. Maybe we just don't know. But that was certainly well, what we were here. Th- th- something I was thinking. He, he had all those those problems. I mean, and, and if if uh, Usyk gets him biting on some of those feints, I mean, they oh. step wrong. That could be pretty nasty. Yeah, I mean, I guess he's, he's not got great upper body movement. The uh, Dubois. Yeah, you know as I'm saying, if, if can Usyk will just he'll just dance on the belt, he'll, he'll, he'll ping the body, try and get the hands to come down, he'll come over the top or down, or right through the middle with something. And uh, he'll, he'll catch him. He hundred percent will catch him with something. I'm convinced of it. It's that that's what you would probably say. I mean, because uh, du- Dubois is a big underdog. He's paying like uh, six to one to win. Um, Rob, uh, are, are you, like you said, Andy, it's middle rounds. Uh, Rob, the over under on this one is six and a half rounds with the books. What would you be thinking on that one? Um, I don't know. Do you know what this is actually? Um, an interesting fight and an intriguing fight because Dubois was potentially going to be one of the breakout British heavyweight stars before the Joe Joyce fight. Um, I wanted him to kind of knock out Joe Joyce because just for the landscape of the heavyweights, I thought his style was more exciting than when I'd seen him blasting out Nathan Gorman. I thought like maybe he's the real deal. I think being matched against guys like fucking Mr. Fujimoto and Ebenezer Tete haven't pr- probably done him any favours. He hasn't been in with any real killers since he beat Joe Joyce either. Lorena, as Andy mentioned, giving him trouble. Trouble. Trevor Bryant was just cannon fodder for him and I think he fought some fellas called Rancho Cucamongo or something in between. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, I don't know. Like I, th- I think Usyk is just way more superior technically I think we all know AJ can bang as well AJ caught him flush and not only can he hold a good shot he's good at disguising when he's in trouble as well Um, because I think AJ got to him at different stages across the 24 rounds that they shared together but he wasn't able to capitalise on it wasn't able to do anything with him and I think Dubois style is a lot more basic for Usyk than Anthony Joshua, he's slightly smaller, he's not as good off the jab, he's not as physically imposing, and I think Usyk is just going to be able to move him around um, for about eight rounds and then maybe take him out down the stretch. But Dubois is a live dog in the fight because of his punch. And, you know... It's heavyweight boxing. It is not the same as every other weight class. I definitely think he probably punches a bit harder than Joshua. And then Joshua's done it against a slightly higher caliber of opponent over the course of their careers, obviously, but... You know, I think he's always he's it's it's always going to be an interesting fight as long as he's able or capable of detonating that right hand and he can definitely punch. Can he find Usyk clean enough? Hit him clean enough? Can, is he going to expend so much energy trying to get shots off? I think he's going to look ragged towards the last third of the fight and Usyk might take him out. But I'd like I'd like to see Usyk kind of overcome some fire as well and, st- and walk through some fire and like maybe this fight presents value that we didn't think it was going to. I think, like, as I said, 2023 has been a, a pretty good year, a pretty solid year in terms of big, big fights happening. I wouldn't say this is a mega fight, but it's still a fight for three of the fucking belts. Like, and if Dubois was to win, you know, you'd have Frank Warren making the fucking undisputed title in-house between Fury and Dubois in a big British fight. So, you know, as long, the longer these guys wait out um, the process of fighting each other and wait for these big fucking piles of money that are being promised by Saudi Arabia and investment and skill sets and all this. Like, the the higher the risk is that one of them gets fucking knocked over, like, and a deal goes away. So, I mean, maybe Dubois can throw a, a monkey wrench in the works, but I, I don't see it. I think Usyk takes him out last part of the fight. That's interesting. And I'm, I'm thinking about, you know, and Usyk has, you know, I he definitely has a good chance to be able to get the stoppage here. Uh, and maybe even early, I'm thinking, because Dubois has a chance with, with the punch. I mean, it's just, it's heavyweight boxing. But Steve, when I think kind of think about it, I'm like, if Lorena, who also was a cruiserweight who was moving up, um, hurt Dubois at times, so let's take the knee injury aside. I mean, he actually gave him more problems than just that mobility issue right there. Um, there was definitely some... Uh, hard shots that Dubois had to uh, take there. Looked like he was going to get stopped in that fight. Um, th- man, this is going to actually maybe be a short night as, as I start thinking about an, an odd potential outcome. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised either. And I have much of what the guys are saying written down in my notes, including the Lorena uh, situation. As you mentioned, that's a huge reg flag for me. A shout out to friend of the pod, Don Charles. I know that um, relatives of Don's listen. They always get back to him whenever we give them a shout out and a pat on the back. So hopefully I'll not send this clip to them. But I know, I know, I know you're a big fan of Don as well, Matty. 
and I've done the interview with him and everything, which is up on the YouTube channel. But I do find it difficult to make a case. They're obviously super confident, as most teams would be going over. You wouldn't expect anything else. But Dubois can punch. He definitely can punch, but to a level, I think. And when you come to U6 level, much like Joe Joyce's level as well, as he showed in that fight in the Albert Hall when he beat Dubois, the, the best guys can find ways to circumvent that power. And Dubois, in the most part, he's flexible to a point, to a level, but he needs you to stand still for a second or two at times and receive. And Usyk, it will work very hard. His style is based upon not being in position to receive those shots, to take those flush shots. And I think that movement is going to give Dubois a lot of trouble, that constant in and out. Dubois is a confidence fighter as well. And I think once his confidence is shook, you can definitely beat him. And with Usyk jabbing away, the motion, the engine, as Andy said, the knee, twisting, turning, Dubois trying to catch him, getting frustrated, losing heart, losing confidence. He showed a lot of balls against Lorena coming back. The fact he was dropped heavy was a real red flag, as I mentioned earlier. And people say, well, he come back despite the injury and knocked him out. Absolutely he did. But a fighter of any better calibre than Lorena wouldn't have allowed that to happen, that stoppage to come about. They would have finished him off in that second round or third round, whenever it was, and absolutely iced him because he was there for the taking. And someone of U6 calibre, I think, will do that. I can see it being a little bit cagey early on. I can see Dubois throwing a few shots, uh, trying to feel him out, trying to get to him, land on the ropes, especially to the body, because that's what we saw uh, Joshua have uh, success with in the seventh round. But U6 will just swiftly start taking over. And once he does, the blows are going to be hard, fast, accurate shots. Matt Butters in the chat mentioned about U6 power not carrying up, but the repetitive combinations, the punching, it's just relentless, isn't it? It's hurtful banging time and time again, the eyes starting to close, Dubois losing heart. You can see the corner coming in, in between rounds and saying, look, I've seen enough here. The tail's coming in. You sick after about round six or seven will have figured him out. And the static figure of Dubois either in the corner, the referee, whatever it might be, maybe the tail coming in. Round nine, <clears throat> excuse me, you sick stopping him for me. Add to that as well, it's going to be a fucking cauldron. I don't think Dubois has been on a stage like this before. It's going to be practically a home fight for, for Usyk in Poland. I think it has the, the highest percentage of uh, yeah. Ukrainian refugees that have uh, migrated. Have right by Poland, the border, like, so, someone was saying, apparently. Yeah, yeah it's, going to be, it's going to be like a home home fight. With, and that, with Usyk being such a big hero, it's going to be fucking a very intimidating atmosphere. I'm not sure like he's even fought in a place. that I don't know what the capacity is the place is, but I'm imagining it's pretty... Um, Big stadium, um, for this 45. event. So, yeah. So that's fucking that's massive. Like, and it's gonna be. I don't think he's gonna be bringing a big away traveling support over there either. That's gonna rival the home crowd. So that's gonna be another factor for him as well. He's gonna have to deal with that. Like, and I think that plays into what Steve was saying about he's a confidence fighter. Like, I think that's right. He sometimes if when he loses confidence, he looks like a rabbit in the headlights. It looks like he doesn't know what he's doing in there. Like. And up against Usyk, like you just gotta, you think he's gonna exploit that, don't you? Like, yeah, we'll we'll see. I'll tell you what, uh, an Usyk loss would be uh, about the worst thing that has happened to Ukraine in like eighteen months. So uh, <laughs> let's let's not. <laughs> but but uh, at, at six to one, Jesus Christ, it's almost tempting to bet on Usyk. What's the KO? Uh, What's the KO? Because there's only one way. You might as well, if you're going to bet on him to win, you might as well bet by the KO because there's only one more fucking chance he has. Nine to one. Nine to one. And um, Well, uh, if you're going to throw your money away, you might as well throw it away on the nine to one <laughs> instead of the six to one. Like, cause that's his only <laughs> He's shot, not going to be outboxing him, is he? You know, the, only prob- the only problem with that one when you do that, Rob, is it turns it into where you don't have just the two-way action where like a draw is a throwaway like head clash ending the bout early and shit like that you could get screwed um so that's the only reason like i hesitate you're getting fucking draw. screwed anyway just put it on the ko fuck's sake oh, fucking jesus uh yeah anyhow i i don't know um gonna be a full day of boxing uh that that's for damn sure 